The distant pings of active sonar reverberate throughout the hull of USS Seawolf as she makes her slow, but indeed steady escape from the South China Sea. The crew of Seawolf at this point is exhausted. Multiple days have passed as the PLAN has flooded into the area, searching for the elusive Seawolf. The crew has also experienced a significant emotional event thanks to an airdropped lightweight torpedo. The damage to the boat has certainly reduced combat effectiveness. That all being said, the fight will continue, and we will push on with our orders from Com Sub Pack. All that stands in the boat's way is numerous PLA and hunter killer groups and submarines. The enemy has Seawolf bottled up, and the only way out of the area is to fight. Billy Allen and his crew plan to do just that. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard USS Seawolf as we continue our South China Sea campaign. We have been trying to make it to the East China Sea, however, we have yet to break out. We have been intercepted once again by another task force, another Chinese hunter-killer group, which has been looking for us, and man, they are so close. We are absolutely going to have to fight this time around. Torpedo loadout consists of pretty much all Mark 48 ad caps. We do have one Moss loaded, and I have a feeling I am going to need that because we have six contacts here, all banging away on active sonar quite close to us. Let's check the conditions, and it is nice and quiet. Of course it is. Okay, let's go to the signature tab and begin identifying. CR3 seems to be using active sonar banging away on the surface there, so let's assume it is, in fact, a Jang Hu. Con sonar, Sierra 3, is classified as escort. Let's check all of these, make sure we got, yeah, another Yang Hu. Con sonar. Set. Is classified as this one is banging away. Luda. We're going to assume Con it is Sonar, the scary Sierra one. One is classified as escort. Con Luda. Sierra oh two my goodness. Is classified as escort. Now oh, this could be a merchant. Con Sonar, Sierra, Sierra five. Is classified as this kind of looks like a submerged profile. Not a kilo, thankfully. Romeo mean kilo improved. I suppose this could, in fact, be another merchant ship. Let's check real fast. Yep, yeah, merchant ship. Okay. Con sonar, okay, surface task force here. As merchant. Moss, we are going to fire it. There we go. Shoot that out. Drop down to 350 feet. All of these torpedoes are going to run up towards the surface. Fire one straight forward. Sierra three is classified as escort. Two. Three. All right, three torpedoes away. Luda. Okay, she can't pick us up yet. She probably heard that launch, though, all things considered. Con sonar, Sierra um, is classified as escort. That looked like a missile launch. Here's our torpedoes running hot straight normal. We are going to dogleg them. What the heck? Okay, Sierra 7 here. Check subs. Kilo. Con sonar, Sierra 7 is classified as oh boy. submerged submarine. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is going to be one heck of a fight. Let's preemptively begin to retract our towed array. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra. Okay. Last bearing two. Torpedoes. One, seven. Contact. Begin beating. changing course. I actually want two, three. Let's just head south for a bit. Sea Wolf, turn on a heading Helm zero five two, six. Zero five six. Helm I. Okay, once we complete this turn, we will deploy the toad once again. Ship is rigged for ultra quiet, making sure everything's good. Check our damage, we're fine. This is already quite exciting. I did consider loading some TASMs, however, we only have three of them left and I'd like to save them for our actual mission, which is to engage and destroy replenishment tankers and tenders in the East China Sea. 
Dive at three, five, okay. zero feet, dive by. We're nice and deep. Let's, uh, yeah, let's maintain this for the time being. Deploy the toad array. Yeah, I don't want that kilo on my baffles. Aircraft flying overhead. Hopefully she does not pick us up on MAD. Or her magnetic anomaly detector. Let's take a look, yeah. Just flying around up here. Reestablish contact on the merchant. Steady course. The real concern is the kilo at this point in time. Torpedoes are dog legged nicely. We are going to turn them in once they reach probably around this point here. I'm hoping this moss will create a good amount of chaos as well. Looks like the kilo is probably farther away than anticipated as well. Torpedoes are nearing the end of their run. I'm going to have them turn. I'm actually going to have tube two here. Look for the sub. Tube three will go for the Luda. Tube one will go for Sierra four. I may want tube three to actually go for the Yang Wei, as I believe that is a more competent warship out of the group. However, the Luda is closer. Go for the close one. We need to go for the immediate threats here. Kilo, what's her solution? 86%, there we go. We got her. Things are looking quite good here. Doesn't look like our Moss is stirring up too much trouble. This torpedo, let's have it activate. Gun, fire control, Perfect, acquired. immediately acquired something. Gun, Okay, we have a launch from the Kilo. What the heck are you, are you homed in on the Kilo? I want you to activate now. Fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, three, turn south towards the Luda. Run up to the surface, please. Use passive. There we go. You're a homing in on the Luda. The Kilo counterfired away from us. The Moss is tripping him up. This torpedo. You know what? Go ahead and activate. Con sonar, noise maker, Another noisemaker launched zero, on the eight. Luda. I don't know. That'll probably eight, three, get her. Four, one, zero, nine, there we go. Ultra quiet. Got the Luda. Impact. Last bearing. One, nine, two. Contact faded. Both weapons have acquired their targets. We have two left. Let's get ready to fire two more torpedoes. Hmm. Maybe we can just try to escape after sinking the kilo. So we can do, I don't know. I, I thought there was an aircraft, but I don't think there is. Okay, shoot tube five, shoot tube six, two away. We're going to have them run straight for a little bit before turning them towards the targets. CR4's dropping noisemakers. Okay. Have our fish turn south. Follow the same procedure as earlier. This torpedo is looking pretty good against the kilo. Yep, tracking her nicely. Dropping noisemakers. Don't know if it'll be enough. Let's just home it in. Uh, Impact. There we go. One, nine, Beautiful. Six. Kilo destroyed. One more to go here. One torpedo left. We are going to sink Got Sierra 2 and Sierra 3 here. How many Mark 48s do we still have? Plenty. Let's look at our friend here. No idea where. There's our Mark 48. Racing in. Impact. Just annihilating Nine, this hunter seven, killer group. Up. Okay, three destroyed, two more to go. Let's turn our torpedoes in. Tube six will go for the Luda. 
two five to the Yang Wei. Torpedoes are about to activate. Tube 6 is getting nice and close to Sierra 2. As a matter of fact, let's have it activate now. Immediately acquired as it races up to the surface. There we go. Reacquired the target. Good. Tube 5 is racing in to Sierra 3. Talk about a clean run. Obviously, we used quite a few torpedoes here, but... We should have more than enough. There are so many hunter killer groups operating <laughs> in the waters near us, and they keep just stumbling across our path, which certainly makes things difficult. Con, fire control, weapon, acquired. weapon has reacquired. Con, fire control, weapon Looks like it's homing in on the countermeasure. Let's readjust. Con, fire there we go. Control, weapon acquired. Perfect. Let's check on you. Go ahead and activate as well. Start racing in towards the target. Love to see it. Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. Okay, weapon has acquired. Both torpedoes are homing in on their targets. Con sonar. Noise maker bearing. Noise makers Two, in the three, water. Six. Looking okay though. Let's have let's have tube six swing around to the left. Turn back north, please. There we go. Should reacquire here. Con, fire control, Beautiful. Let's check on our fish. Looking good. As the enemy tries to desperately evade. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing. I will say we have been three, quite lucky six. that most of our engagements have, in fact, taken place in very Con, deep waters. Control, Certainly has kept us alive. And there we go. Sierra 2 has just been destroyed. One more warship to go, and then we are out of here. Of course, we have those air assets we need to deal with, but hopefully they won't be too much of a problem. Look at all these torpedoes being fired off in a direction we're not even at. Passing 400 feet, excuse me? Uh-oh. All right, positive ballast. What the heck are you homing in on, good sir? Con sonar, noise there we go. Let's two, check on Seawolf. Alright, up on the planes. Increase speed. There we go. CR3 was just hit. Fantastic. All ships destroyed. We can leave the combat area. I do want to get Seawolf repaired. That will be a priority once we finally get to the tankers and tenders and eliminate them. That's when I will head back home. We are going to move up to shallower waters and pump the flooding out. It is uh, quite difficult to deal with, but that's okay. Another smooth mission. Hopefully we don't get intercepted by another PLAN hunter killer group until we reach our mission objective. Passing 200 feet. Here is the after action report, folks. We destroyed 14,000 tons. We have 11 Mark 48s left. Fantastic. Let's continue on. I am well aware. And oh my gosh, we were intercepted by something else here. We just, we have to destroy the entire PLAN to get out of here. Okay. Uh, let's get a report. Load Mark 48s. We may not be accomplishing our objective of sinking those tankers and tenders. Let's close to, uh, man battle stations. Sonar lost contact. Last bearing two, one. Seven. Check conditions. Moderate layer at 154 feet. Deploy the tow array. This may be a submerged contact. Con, so Raise the ESM. ESM mast. Nothing. Radar. The radar mast. Okay. Master one. 
we have a merchant ship out here. This is definitely a submerged contact. I am sure she is operating below that layer. So let's drop down to 300 feet. Dropped below the layer and immediately got something. Submarines. Let's check. Romeo Ming. Could be her. Song. Con sonar. Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. Yeah, let's check. Let me check all these. It's not a kilo. Be a Romeo. Con sonar. Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. That seems quite likely. Okay, here's what we are going to do. 5,000 yard solutions, 41%. Get ready. Layers at 154 Con, feet. Come up to 150 zero, feet, please. Feet, we'll launch our torpedo. We have a rough idea of where she is. Lock there. Mark that down. We'll work on our solution and try to get something a little better than what we have. Free Rig for ultra, ultra quiet. quiet. Yeah, we'll get our solution up, pop up above the layer, fire our torpedo, turn around, and hopefully that'll be that. Uh, hopefully she won't hear the launch if we are above the layer. Let's see, though. We are at 100 feet. We are ready to fire. I am going to shoot tube 5 as it is on the starboard side of the ship, so hopefully that'll mask our launch just a little bit. Solution's at 95%. Let's see. Tube 5 away. We have a counter launch immediately? I sure hope not. I'm actually going to do this. Torpedo. We're going to have it go north. Run away for a bit before swinging back in. Let's make sure. Active. And it's set up to engage the submarine. The target vessel is actually quite deep. She's hanging out at around 700 meters here. It does not look like she heard that launch, which is ideal. We aren't even very far from each other. Okay, I have the torpedo swing around this way. We'll have it come in behind her. Things are starting to get quite close. The Romeo is continuing to close in on us. Let's reduce our speed. I'll stop. Make turns for zero, nine, there she is. Torpedo is slowly working its way around here. Let me check the signature here. So if the Romeo goes active, we are boned. Uh, she will absolutely pick us up on active. Let's have our torpedo start to turn in. Yeah. Maybe turn a little more. And maybe we can get the Mark 48 to move into her baffles and hit her from there. That would be perfect. We can make that happen. However, I kind of want to expedite things a little bit as the Romeo is closing in on our position. I do not want her to launch upon us. Our Romeo friend is certainly on to us. She has reduced her speed down to three knots listening here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Torpedo's almost in her baffles. How far are we? 2,000 yards away. My goodness. Let's see how deep is she. Okay, here we go. She is launching on the bearing of the torpedo. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Activate. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. There we go. Weapon is homing on the target. I'm glad she counterfired on the bearing of the torpedo and not towards us. That is great. That's exactly what I wanted. Torpedoes racing in here. Con sonar, noise maker Noisemaker, bearing. of one, course there eight, is one. Con, there we go. Reacquired. 
Let's see here. Direct impact. There we go. Right in the control room. And that's all she wrote. With the enemy dispatched of, we are clear to leave the combat area, and we are going to do just that. We're free! We are finally free, and we are going to move through this strait into the East China Sea, and hopefully engage and find those replenishment tankers and tenders. We have intercepted the tankers and tenders on October 3rd, 2000, 1300 hours. New contact bearing 235 designated Sierra 1. Our speed is 10 knots. Depth is 150 feet. Status report. We are going to load TASMs and tubes 5, 6, and 7. There we go. All three loaded. Beautiful. All hands, man your battle stations. Oh boy. It looks a little shallow here. Deploy the tow array. Conditions, floor is at 426 feet, which I am not the biggest fan of, frankly. It is very quiet here, too. Hmm. Okay, signature. Break for ultra quiet, first thing. Who's banging away on active? We also want to be sure there are no submarines out and about. Seven. Like this. Sierra, four. Romeo, no. Song, no. Sonar, new oh my gosh, bearing. they're so close! Two, two, three. I don't like that Sierra, one bit. Alright, flip through here, trawler. Con, sonar, Easy. Sierra, four. Is classified as merchant. Check all these merchants. Oil rig, Con, whales, sonar, kilo. Two, four, nine. Designated Sierra, I seven. do not like this. This kind of looks... Very similar to the whale profile. Yep, indeed. Alright, I hope the whale survives this. Godspeed, my little guy. Um, There we go. Target. This is a warship for sure. Saw how bright it got once it used active sonar. Yang Hu. Con sonar Sierra One is classified as escort. Let's see. And you know what? We are going to fire. This may be another. This is either a freighter or another whale, another biologic. Biologic. Con sonar. Two Sierra whales. Eight. Is classified as biological. All right, Sierra Two. What do you got going on? What's cooking? This kind of looks like a sub, but I'm wrong. Frigate. Luda. Con sonar Sierra Two is classified. Yeah, I can as I can escort. buy that. Is that all we got? Sierra Five. I was expecting more tankers and tenders, but you know, I have no earthly idea. Okay, another frigate. Con sonar Sierra Five. Okay. Classified as escort. Well, we are going to shoot now. I'm going to shoot tube one. Off in this direction. There we go. Tube two. Tube three. Tube four. Four torpedoes away. Four ships. We're going to have those torpedoes run straight for a little bit. Sea Wolf will change course. New heading. Zero three zero, please. Zero three zero. Helm I. I love how many wires we have too. It's. Brings a little tear to my eye. Um, damage control, we're doing just fine. Hopefully, we'll return to base right after this. It would be swell if Comp Sub Pack would just order us to go home to rearm and repair. 
But yeah, we are going to fire from a distance since they can't really pick us up. Zero two. Oh, interesting. We have not seen this uh, this frigate before. Yeah, they're all kind of stationary. Trawl our way out here. Let's see our replenishment ship, friend. There she is. Oh, yeah, what a chonker. Yep, that is the primary target. This tender, or this tanker, excuse me. There are helicopters buzzing around, too. We have Sierra 3 way out here. I wonder if this is another replenishment vessel. I'd be shocked if there were just, just one, but... I think this is actually using active. That's very possible. It is a... A warship. Okay, it's a Luda. Every time I flip to that, or not a Luda, a Luhu. Con, there we Sar, go. Sierra. Con, Helm, steady course. We're gonna let our torpedoes run. We're going to dogleg them. You guys know the drill. Things are looking pretty good. They're banging away on active. I accidentally activated this torpedo, but I'm going to have it. Swing all the way around and go for the Luhu, as that is the largest threat. We're going to hit her, and I'm having... Hmm. I'm debating what I want to do with the other torpedoes, if I want to primary the warships, and then fire my TASMs. We have three TASMs. I'm sure one of them will get through on the enemy, if we even want to fire it. So, I think Sierra 2... Really not worth engaging, if I'm being honest. So we'll have the rest of our torpedoes go for the rest of the formation, and we're going to continue to lurk away, heading northeast here. No torpedoes have been fired upon us. It looks like there's dipping sonar near our torpedoes. They have no idea where we are. This is going to be another very clean mission, I think. Uh-oh. We have launches from a Sierra 9. Which is way out here. We have a submarine. Let's investigate. What is she? Romeo? Song. Con sonar. Sierra 9 is classified as submerged submarine. She's like in the middle of this formation. There's no way she's way out here. I have this torpedo use active sonar for a little bit. See if it can pick up that submarine. Con sonar new contact bearing two two six designated Sierra one. Zero. I want this torpedo to search for the sub. Is she that close? No way. No way. Activate. Let's act. Let's just activate all these fish. It's time. To, it's go time. Uh, let's see. Con sonar, noise yeah, there's the song. Two, go six, get it. Five. Two. We'll go for. We'll have three go for the Luhu here. Two will go for the tanker. One will go for the Yanghu. This torpedo, though, this is the one we want to engage the song. Try to reacquire it. Dropped a noisemaker. It's the reason they started firing torpedoes. Our torpedoes probably Con, scared the hell out of them. Okay, weapon, weapon has acquired. I have no idea where the song is. We cannot hear her on our own sensors. But thankfully the Mark 48 is quite a capable control, torpedo. Okay, control, there we go, it's acquired. acquired. Let's see. Oh, there she is. Looking good. There's the song. Fantastic, look at that. We're going to let that song mess around with that. Okay, three. Head south. I don't really care to engage Sierra 2. Also, what the heck is Sierra 10? This torpedo needs to head this away. Okay, that song's done for. There's our torpedo. Oh, there we go. Impact. Got the song. 
beautiful. The rest of our torpedoes are running away. Uh, the song's counter launch going off to nowhere. No factor. Okay, the rest of our torpedoes are acquiring all sorts of stuff. A lot of them are heading for CR-1. That is not really what I want. It looks like... Tube 2. I'd like to get going this way. Uh, CR-2 is just of no interest to me. Not a submarine, or not a ship I'd like to really engage. CR-1 is dropping noisemakers here. Good. And it looks like Tube 3 is heading for the tanker. Let's readjust here. I know you're unable to fire. I did not mean to press that. I apologize. Let's swing this torpedo around. Looking good. Such a tight combat space here. Okay. Acquired. Let's see here. It can be... Is it going to hit? Come on, baby. There we go. Got her. All right, CR-1 is destroyed. Contact breaking up. Okay. Tube 3. Head for CR-3. It's a dangerous one. I hope this one is going for the actual tanker and not the blue whale. Doesn't look like it's going for the whale. It's operating nice and close to the surface. Passing 200 feet. Well, okay, we hit it. We hit the tanker. Good. Ah, shoot. We are flooding. Con, less than 50 feet below the keel. Uh, up on the planes. Lost contact. Sierra, seven. Last bearing, two, three. Increase speed, ten knots. Make turns for one, zero, nine. Okay. I can't wait to get this repaired. Con, maneuvering. Retract. For the toted. It looks like it was automatically nine. retracted. Good. Okay, this torpedo is running for... The Luhu. We also have CR5 out here. I'm wondering if it's worth engaging her. Let's get this water pumped out first and foremost. And maybe we'll just we'll just try to lurk away after this, I think. Weapons, what do we got? I could fire a couple more Mark 48s, I suppose. Noisemaker bearing two, four, three. Come on. Oh gosh, frustrating. Passing three hundred feet. This torpedo is running towards CR-3. If it weren't for those helicopters or other aircraft, I'm guessing it's just a helicopter and maybe more. I would absolutely launch the TASMs. Okay, weapon has acquired. Good. Another noisemaker throwing it off. Just kind of nudge the torpedo along because we still have the wire. There we go. Okay, 200 feet. Please, water. Please start coming out. Start pumping. Looks like it's going down. Indeed it is. Bluehoo. Got her. Beautiful. Okay, go back to our sub. Make sure we don't broach. That is not what I want to do whatsoever. Okay, time to pump this water out and get the heck out of here. We have been working on getting out of here for some time, and CR-5 is trying to track us, so you know what that means. We are going to sink her and just get rid of this problem. Shoot tube one. We are going to dogleg it south this time around. Yeah, we moved quite a distance away, but we slowed down and I heard her just hanging out back here. She doesn't actually hear us. Something's using its dipping sonar way up to the north there, but it doesn't seem to be much of a factor at this point in time. The ship, I don't know what she's really up to. She's operating at six knots, not moving very quickly. Trying to search for us. We also picked up Sierra 10, but not sure what that is. It is long since faded. This is the only ship that is really close to us. 
and really stopping us from being able to leave the combat area, so we'll get rid of it. It is time to activate our torpedo. It has immediately acquired the target. Love to see that. And it is racing in. Time to impact should be just about a minute or so. It doesn't look like the aircraft operating in the area really know what's going on. What's even out here? Yep, helicopter. There is an aircraft out here, an airplane flying about, but the helicopter is just up here. And that's our primary worry. An airdrop torpedo is what got us in a previous episode and caused our current damage. So we do want to avoid, <laughs> we do want to avoid being on the receiving end of one of those airdrop torpedoes. That would not be fun. That being said, I fully intend to RTB after this particular mission. I'm hoping the game will order us directly to head back home, but even if it doesn't, we're going home anyway, because I do not want to deal with that flooding anymore. I want to get that hole, that hole patched up in our hole. So, Torpedo's still racing to the target. I, she's not dropping any noisemakers yet. I wonder if she even hears it. Also, this ship is operating quite low in the water, and these choppy seas not seem to be uh, doing her any favors. Oh my gosh. No noisemaker, huh? Just going to accept it. There we go. Impact. Target destroyed. Contact breaking up. With that, folks, we are clear to leave the combat area, and we are going to do just that. There was a second song out there, and that must have been Sierra 10. And then obviously the little frigate got away as well. Continue. Good to hear you intercepted and destroyed the enemy replenishment resources. Keep up the good work and await further orders. Let's see the paper. Quiet seas. U.S. warships and submarines have taken up several new strategic positions, including some around the East China Sea, in response to significantly reduced Chinese naval activity. Sources close to the Pentagon say the war is taking a heavy toll on enemy naval operations and that their supply lines continue to be heavily strained. Continue on. Okay, Commander Scarborough Shoal within the next week. Can I get back to Guam within the next week? Okay. Weapons free. Mm, we're going to see. We're going to try to make it to Guam. Rearm, repair, and then beeline it to Scarborough Shoal. And we'll see if that is possible. All right, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.